for Doppler and M mode imaging, I'm going to start with M mode, but something fairly unique to the GE machines that not a lot of machines have is this cursor. A lot of times, instead of hitting pulse wave and then getting the gate and going to that image, and go back to 2D, you can click your cursor here. And so for M mode PW or CW Doppler, you can get that full screen on there and decide on where you're going to put that gate. So we can start. And I've just got this, my thumb on the uh, probe just to show that it is a live image. So we've got, we can do the cursor, select the area that we want to listen to. So let's just say it's right about there. And then we could click, click, click in a pulse wave or M mode Doppler. M mode is obviously going to go all the way down that line for M mode. And now I have my M mode sweep. And we'll get to pulse wave Doppler in just a minute, but let's take a look at the functions of the M mode. Again, yeah, you have the same kind of image optimizations down here for sweep, frequency, the overall layout, how you want it to be seen, left and right, switch it from top to bottom. Anatomical M mode is here. You can flip that on and get your new direction for the anatomical M mode. Color maps, focal position. Press 2D to go back. Moving on to pulse wave. We'll select that cursor again because this allows us also to adjust our angle a whole lot easier. If we go directly into pulse wave, our adjusting the angle of our gate is a lot more difficult. So what we want to do is first hit cursor. And now you can't see the gate there, but if I want to select, I want to select my PW cursor here. And I can change my sample volume gate here, my angle correction. The smaller or the quick angle which can go, goes by 10 degrees real quick or my angle correct I can scroll that all the way up if I want to go to 60 degrees I can leave it right there then you can use this trackball and scroll right over the area that you're looking to scan and then you're going to press PW Doppler and you're in PW Doppler mode again you have multiple functions down here for uh, the sweep speed uh, the volume of your Doppler change your baseline ASO is auto spectrum optimization so if I click on that it's going to try and adjust the scale and everything to what it thinks I am looking at each time I press that so see I change the baseline and the scale and if I make changes in it in the image it's going to react to that layout same as the M mode I can invert maps again change my scale here and then this says LPRF, but what it is, it's a submenu for multiple image optimizations. You have your angle correction here. Now it's hidden under this screen when you go to this. Quick angle, low velocity rejection, sample volume compression, rejection, frequency, and power. Just other image optimizations for while you're in 2D mode or pulse wave Doppler mode. You also have this 2D button here. It's kind of a mysterious little thing, but if you hit 2D, it will give you a live update up top. It's actually a 2D freeze and unfreeze for when you're in these kinds of image imaging modes. So I'm going to go ahead and get a live on both. So I've got my gain turned up down here. I push active mode to increase my gain on the top image. So now I have duplex, which is two live images. I'm going to change that, turn that gain down a little bit. Freeze and I've got them all. Again, I can hit that 2D to freeze. If I've got the entire thing frozen, I can I, I can hit that to freeze and unfreeze the 2D. So these work independently of each other. If I unfreeze, it's going to give me that live spectral. And then I unfreeze the 2D, and so they're both live. So if I freeze, the spect freeze this, it's going to freeze the entire image. I can press 2D again to get a live image up top there. Go ahead and freeze. And I'm going to go back to 2D imaging. And color flow works, again, pretty much all the same way. You have your color box. You're going to press set to change the size or the position of that color box. You have your gain. If I can press active mode. So if I push active mode down, it's going to change the 2D image. If I push it again, it's going to change the, the gain of the, for, of the color image. So and notice when I do that, these controls along the bottom also change. So now it's saying I can change that 2D image. If I click on active mode again, 
Now I can do these things to change that color image. And again, you have these hidden controls as well for sample volume, frequency, averaging power. Uh, your scale is here, your color maps, you can adjust those there, change your baseline, etc.